stampers. Welcome to FancyForStampin.com. I'm Josie Collar. It's been a long time since I did a video and hopefully this one will go better than the last time I did one. Well, we'll see. Time will tell. It all depends on how things go. Today I'm going to show you how to make the watercolor background on this card. I got my inspiration from one of the Stampin' Up! catalogs and um, I decided I would use some of the retiring in colors because I like them so much. This is one version. I did a thanks card and then this is another one. I did a Happy Mother's Day because we know that one's coming that day's coming up so I needed one of those too. So we're going to use we're going to make one of these cards and I'm going to show you that you will have enough paper left over so that depending on how you cut the, the, the watercolor card stock, uh, the first time I made the, the, when I made the thank you card, I had enough paper left over to make this card and to make this card. So depending on how you cut them, you might get two more cards or you'll get one more card if you cut two pieces of card of the cardstock in equal proportions. Okay, first thing you're going to need, you're going to need a piece of one sheet of the Stampin' Up! watercolor paper. And then you will need a piece of Barry Burt cardstock measuring eight and a half by five and a half and then you'll score it and fold it. That's for the cardstock base. And you will need a piece of Whisper White four and a half by five and a quarter. You will need a piece of Powder Pink five and a quarter by four inches. A strip of Basic Black measuring a half inch wide. It doesn't have to be this long because we're just going to stamp the sentiment and then trim it with our scissors. And I'm using a piece of retired ribbon, shame on me. I have a seven and a half inch piece of lemon lime twist and the half inch finely woven ribbon. And the stamp set that I'm using is the Beauty Abounds. And the uh, framelits is the Butterfly, oh I'm sorry, the Butterfly Be Beauty Thinlets. For the Mother's Day card, I use the Happy Mother's Day sentiment from the Well Said stamp set. Okay, you're also going to need, I have my Aqua Painters, some blue painters tape, a Stampin' Up! spritzer bottle, and I have the reinkers for Berry Burst, Powder Pink, and Lemon Lime Twist. And I'm using the tops of some embellishment containers to hold my ink while I watercolor. Okay, first thing you need to do is you need to set up your watercolor paper. I taped it down to a clipboard using painter's tape. I used, um, I, I slid it very slightly under the clip on one end and then I made a border around the rest of the paper with the painter's tape and I overlapped the painter's tape very little so see if you if I flip it over it doesn't it doesn't cover much of the paper okay first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your stamp and spritzer and you are going to spritz this watercolor paper so that it's nice and wet and I'm going to hold it up to do it and I'm going to come over here to the side so I don't get my entire work surface wet. Okay, I got it nice and wet. I don't know if you can see how wet it is but it's it's practically drenched. So and then I'm going to take one of my blender pens and I'm just going to move that water around and make sure it is totally covered. I don't remember if I've done this or not. I got a piece of fuzz on my... I may have done another video showing how to do this. But I don't remember. It's been so long since I, I even did a video. 
Okay, I sort of dried that off, so. Okay, I'm gonna turn this this way. I'm gonna start with the Berry Burst ink, and I'm gonna put a drop in the lid here. Well, actually, that's three drops, but that's okay. And I'll take my Aqua Painter, and I'll put squeeze a little water in there, and then I'll just start scribbling on my paper. You want to make sure you get the ends. I think that's good. Okay, and I'm going to put that off to the side. And the next color I'm going to use is some powder pink, just a couple drops. We'll dilute that a little. And we're just going to go over and fill in. where we didn't have any berry burst. Just like that. Okay, and I'll push that off to the side. And last but not least, one of my most favorite colors is Lemon Lime Twist. I'm really sad to see these colors go. But I hear some of the new ones are, or all of the new ones are, really nice. Okay, so now we're, we've got our lemon lime twist and we're just going to put it in there wherever, wherever you think you want it. It's okay if you overlap the colors. That's the beauty of it. Oh, and I like the way this is looking because it's going to be nice and intense. I love this color combination. Okay, and that's that. Okay, next thing we need is we're going to dry this with my heating tool. Okay, so stand by while I dry this piece of paper. I'm just drying up the excess that's on the blue tape and there was a little running down at that end, so I, I, I daub, dabbed it with my paper towel. Okay, I think that's dry enough. I was, that's what I was doing when, I, when I'm touching it, feeling it to see if it was dry enough. And I believe that it is. Now the water ran a little down here at this end and made a mark, but that's okay. We can cover that, and if, you don't, if that doesn't bother you, then you can let it show but look at how pretty that looks I mean no matter how you turn it it's it's they're just it's just a beautiful combination of colors and it looks really good okay so and it's very vibrant and intense now we're going to remove this painters tape and we're left with a little border around the edge of the watercolor paper that we're going to trim We're going to use the paper trimmer. That's still a little wet there. We're going to use a paper trimmer to trim off that border. Uh, where should I put that? I'll put that over there. Okay. I'm sad to see our paper trimmer go, but I think it'll be okay. I think Stampin' Up! is going to come up with a, a suitable replacement. But you might want to stock up on your cutting blades before they're all gone. Okay, so we're trimming off this border that we created with the paper tape, painter's tape. just a hair too much on that. 
That's okay. And this end I'm going to leave because there's barely a border there. Okay, so now we need a piece of this that measures three and three quarters. I have it written down here somewhere. Three and three quarters by five, I believe. Let me see. Yes, three and three quarters by five. Now, I want to make two more regular size cards. I'm not going to make any more like this. I want to make two more regular size cards. So I'm going to cut five. Let's cut this side. Five. And you can do something with this if you want. I mean, you can use it as the background on a you can stamp over it, make it a banner, a sentiment banner, by three and three quarters here. One. And two. And you can do something else with this. I mean, you don't want to throw that away. And I think I'm going to use this piece first because I like the green. That does not mean that I don't like this piece. I just like all the green in this one. I think this one is equally as beautiful, if I do say so myself. Okay, so I got my cardstock, my vase. It's Berry Burst. It's already folded in half. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount this watercolor piece flat onto the powder pink. Is that what it is? Yep, yeah, it's powder pink. If I can find my snail. Here it is. Here's my snail. We'll put that on there. Okay, and then I'm going to use some dimensionals to attach this to my Berry Burst base. things. I find them in the weirdest places. Okay, there we go. We'll put that on there, just like that. Now using this die from the Thinlets and the four and a half by five and a quarter piece of cards, white cardstock, you need to cut this out. I took the liberty of pre-cutting it so I wouldn't take up too much of your time. And it fits, I mean you have to fiddle with it a little, but it fits perfectly on the top of that watercolor base. And I attached it with a few glue dots. I put one right behind this big butterfly's body Just like that. Okay, and then my poker I use to pick up the glue dots and I sort of folded them in half and I put one behind this body, butterfly body, and one up the top. And one right here. Okay, so we got that. And then my piece of 
lemon lime twist ribbon. I just folded it over itself. And I cheated and I used my stapler, my small stapler, to hold it together. And I'll put a glue dot behind that to hold it to the base. Let's get another one. Come on. There we go. We'll just put that on there. Okay. And then we'll take the thanks sentiment from the Beauty Abound stamp set and we will stamp it in Versamark. Where is my Versamark? Here it is. Oh, but before we stamp, we need to use the embossing buddy. I don't know if you've ever tried to heat emboss without using this, and it sure is a mess. So we'll stamp. It's a little crooked, but that's okay. I'm not going to worry about it. I can redo it later. And we will use some white embossing powder on it. And then we will heat emboss. Okay, and that's done. That didn't take long. And then we're just going to trim this. And we will put a couple mini dimensionals behind it. And attach. And that's it. Isn't that pretty? I think it's beautiful. And it didn't take long at all. No time. Can make your own DSP. All you need is a little bit of watercolor paper and some ink, some aqua painters, and the motivation. Well, I hope you enjoyed your visit today. If you have any questions, let me know. Until next time, happy stamping and happy Mother's Day.